Hi, this is Nida. In this part two of the video series about how your thoughts impact your fertility, I would like to share a tool for you to use when you have negative self-talk. Um, our thoughts can be our friend, but they also can be our greatest enemy and cause us to suffer. In fact, a lot of the suffering that we experience in our lives is caused by our own thoughts and perceptions and beliefs. So I would like to invite you to observe your thoughts about your body and fertility. If you haven't done this, um, just write them down on a piece of paper or in, in, in your journal and identify which one that caused you distress. Um, let's pick an example. Um, if when you um, experience another negative pregnancy test, uh, you may tell yourself that you, I have bad eggs, uh, my body is broken, and you know I can't get pregnant. Um, which is fine to have those feelings. You know you fine to have. Um, those negative self-talk, but you don't want to dwell on it. So that's why I would like to share this this tool. You know, um, it's understandable to feel that way because, uh, you know, especially if you've been on this uh, journey for for a while. So, the tool that I like to share here with you is called the Work by um, Byron um, Katie. And it's called the Work because you do have to do the work. Um, it's very simple, but yet. Um, very powerful process of understanding what's hurting you and then also addressing the cause of your problems with clarity. So the work consists of four questions. I invite you to write this down, the four questions. The first question is, is it through? The answer is yes or no. Is it through that I have bad eggs? So if it's yes, you can just um, move on to the next question. And if no, um, you can skip the second question, just move to the third question. The second question is, can you absolutely know that it is true? The answer is also yes or no. Can you absolutely know that it is true? Is it true that I have really, I have bad eggs? So if the answer is yes, you just stop right there. But if it's no, you move on to the third question, which is how do you react when you believe that thought? How do you react when you believe that thought? Do you feel angry? Do you feel frustrated? Do you feel um, like in total despair? So just identify what's the you know the feelings that um, come to the surface. The last question, which is just the fourth one, is would you, who would you be without the thought? Who would you be without the thought? Without all those thought, you be you know you be free from um, feeling angry and frustrated. So you be more you know be happy and more in joy and optimistic, right? So to turn that around, um, you can say I have perfectly healthy X. I have perfectly healthy X. And what do you feel? when you say that to yourself. So I encourage you to use this tool whenever you experience or you can, you know, you identify um, negative self-talks and just um, use this work, the work, and see how it helps with your thought process. Uh, I'll see you in part three of this video series. Bye now.